Eating better is easier with Koo produce. Homegrown from our plus to your plate. Koo uzotwala. Fresh produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Ay, we got you. Packed and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Making eating better as easy as adding color to your plate. With Koo's range of vegetables and fruit. Uzotwala. Get Koo. As we said to make eating better, easier. Color your plate with Koo. Welcome to our top eight contestants. Yes. Each one of you showed us that you have the potential to be a cooking star. But now, the hard work begins. Over the next coming weeks, you'll be put through cooking challenges that will push your skills to the test. Now, some of you will be eliminated along the way. But at the end of the competition, our season two winner walks away with their share of 500,000 Rand in cash and prizes. But if you didn't make it, that's okay. There's some amazing prizes to be won throughout this journey. So, are you ready for today's challenge? Yes. yes. But before we get there, we have invited a special guest. Not only is she one of South Africa's top chefs, but she has her very own cooking school. Let's welcome Jackie Cameron. Number one, I'm just so excited to be here because it's kind of home cooks, chefs that are really showing us what they can do. I really want to see deliciousness. I'm looking for what mom, grand, grandfather makes at home, but with a little bit more style, finesse. That's what I want to see on the plates today. Hello everyone, thank you very much for having me. Well, Jackie, it's so great to have you here today, but I'm curious, what's in that bag? <laughs> well, I thought to celebrate the top eight, I would bring you all a gift. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this gift, I don't know what to say, but it's, it's very scary. No, no, it's not gifts. It's tricks. I hope, hope, hope I get to pull out a fruit product today. I was hoping it was a ticket to the finale, but I managed to pull the chickpeas out of a sweet bag that she had. I'm assuming it's going to be our hero product for the day. I'm just hoping that I don't choose chickpeas. So I'm putting my hand in the bag and it comes out and I see butter beans. I chose butter beans and I was really hoping for chickpeas. <laughs> it's only one left. No! <laughs> peas! I don't want peas. Seeing that my gift is peas. Uh, but then I'm a chef, so I need to make something out of the peas. Of course, Koo, the gift that keeps on giving. But it is not that simple. The product you have in your hand has to be incorporated in today's challenge. And that's not all. You'll notice that some of you have matching gifts. So if you look around, the contestants that have the matching product to yours will be your partner in today's challenge. The first thought that goes through my mind is at least it's not JP or Tabby Shaw. <laughs> and in my professional opinion, everything is about teamwork. A kitchen does not survive on one person alone. So together with your partner, you must create a dish that's delicious and well-balanced, but also that celebrates your heritage. Your dish must contain of a main and two side dishes, and you must incorporate your product. This is when the competition gets tough because each individual in the winning pair will walk away with an instant pot air fryer. Plus, you will earn yourself a week off. <laughs> yeah, that's because the six contestants in the bottom three performing teams will go into an elimination challenge next week. It's going to be very tricky having to partner with somebody who has to also take charge of the cooking. Contestants, you have one hour on the clock to create a colorful and well-balanced plate that celebrates your heritage. You have your cool product and this fully stocked pantry will be available to you throughout the hour. Are you ready to cook? Yes. 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 Right, contestants, good luck. Ready, steady, color your plate. So we are cooking chicken feeds 
and sweet corn bread with bacon and then we also have like a sweet corn and bacon sauce with chimichurri. We are coming from different cultures so we're just combining everything out because she doesn't know um, anything about chicken feet. And then so she... I'm learning today. Yeah. I'm learning a lot today and really excited about it. I've never had chicken feet before but I grew up eating scorp starkies and marrow bones so I've really always wanted to try chicken feet. I feel like it was destiny and I think the biggest gift was getting paired together today. We're going to be doing some chakalaka scent salad and then we're going to be making the lamb chops here. JP will be making leke babuti and then I think we things will go well. We are trying to decide how to incorporate both the dishes that we came having in mind. We're fusing herbs on a culture with my baby culture along with other South African cultures. I'm making kogotko tabule and she's working on chicken feet and the cabbage. She's Indian, I'm coloured, so we're bringing the two cultures together. So the plan is that we are going to make a South African tali. Tali is basically just a dish that has a lot of small dishes on it and they can all be eaten together. Okay, Jackie, interesting challenge. What do you make of it? Sure. I think the dynamics of them just having met each other for a team is going to be difficult. <laughs> I think so. And the other thing is that, you know, heritage has to be brought into the assault. And it's two people coming together, both of their heritage. Can you yeah. imagine? Is it going to be easy for them? I think we'll have yeah. to wait and see how the for challenge sure. today is for going sure. to be executed. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, though. Mm, yeah, definitely. Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Koo's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Koo's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description and hashtag color your plate with Koo in the comments. Enter now, T's and C's apply. Koo's sweet corn isn't marnet milisinje, but a delicious source of fiber. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Koo. Shia Makombo Fast Fast, cool mixed veg seasoned and tasty combinations in J. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with cool. It's fine. Mm -mm. I tasted it and it's not. Homo and Yes. I see Utwere Papa Kamo, Utwere Kabeche Kamo. What's happening? What is the Rijisha de Jose Monatimo today? Tapo Kai. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hopefully. And the whole kernel sweet corn, how are we going to incorporate it into your heritage? I'm making a North African inspired South African classic, which is Umpogoko by Kosa Knowledge or Kutu by Zulu people. How's it all coming together? So right now I'm just making the mixture for my bhajia. So I'm using um, the butter beans in here and I'm just mashing it up a little bit. So do you feel like all these flavors that you're bringing into your dish today, are they going to be in harmony? Definitely, we discussed it and that's why we added some spice to the wars because it needs to incorporate with the other spicy dishes. Julie, I'm actually looking forward to tasting proper chicken feet. Are you going to get your chicken feet cooked in time? Yes, I'm just frying them up now and then I'm going to add liquid. Well, there's a uh, nice energy here, eh, Jackie. You guys have, looks like oh, you've been best other. friends. All hour hey? long. <laughs> All, All hour long. long. <laughs> All hour long. Who's the team leader? Uncle JP. I feel like I probably did take charge, but I feel like a good kitchen is not a great kitchen without a good leader. My mom called me the prayer master. Such a uh, homies boy. Hell yes. Okay. Because I always pray at home. When Christopher and the family comes together, I'm the prayer master at home. Contestants, 30 more minutes to go. Teamwork makes the dream work. One more minute. That's right. Let's go, guys. Okay, I'm going to get it in now. Eh? They are falling apart and I'm falling apart. I already tried to fix it, so I don't know if I have enough time to redo them completely. There is no backup plan, so I need to make this work. I think I'm definitely going to get a lot of messages from people uh, offering me lessons in how to make pajiyas. <laughs> it looks like everyone's still got a lot to do. I think the 
contestants at the back corner, they mm. seem to be quite confident. They said to me, you know, they, they've got it all together. What do you think of the chicken feet? It doesn't look to me as if it's even halfway cooked yet. Yeah, I think even if we've passed the halfway mark, mm. the chicken feet can still be properly cooked. I expect a little bit of chaos here in the last five minutes. <laughs> I definitely think so. Yeah. Getting ready to take out our chicken feet. It's make or break. I'm hoping they're nice and tender and soft and gelatinous. And she's gonna add the feet to her sauce and then we're gonna get ready to start plating. We decided to test out what our plating was gonna look like and we realized that we might need something for a little bit of color. Why don't we just roast off some cherry tomatoes with garlic and lemon? They are soft. They came out exactly the way I wanted them. I was very worried. At the moment, the chicken feet look a bit bland, but she's working on a sauce just to give them some color and I can't wait to see them once they're done. 20 minutes to go and I'm plating because I realized that we have quite a few components that we need to get on the plate. Brilliant. Almost there, eh? Contestants, you only have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. I think you need to start plating. We're in time and the chicken feet are perfectly done and everything's done. We just need to plate nicely now. Time's running out and my sauce didn't pan out the way I anticipated it to, so I need to remake it. But obviously, because I've already done the first part of it, I need to separate it and start the mixture from scratch and then mix it with the one that's already done. Contestants, you have five minutes left. Oh. I'm never going to live this down as an Indian person that can't make a bhajia. <laughs> it needed more like, more cumin, more curry and more chili. Yeah. Karen, did you taste the chicken feet? I did now, they're lovely. They are absolutely beautiful. I'll have them again. Just waiting for them to burst open just a tad. It needs a bit of a well so that I can put it in the center. Just like one. If Let I me show it. you and then you'll decide if you like. On the one, uh, this one, I don't know to look who's going. Don't put it on the next plate, please. Don't. I'm struggling to even come to senses with compromising to this because it's just not it. Contestants, you have one minute to go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 30 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop cooking, step away from your plates, guys. Well done. There is a few things that we wanted to add, but we feel confident with what we've accomplished. Yeah. I'm happy we got everything on the plate, and I'm happy we both have elements that represent our cultures both individually our cultures. and our cooking style as well. You know, it's two incorporations of two cultures, and this was teamwork, so there's parts of be that obviously I don't plate like this but I had to compromise because of that so it's two different cultures. We had a bit of a rough start we couldn't put everything together but at the end all the flavors um, combined are just absolutely perfect and we're really happy. We're happy with what we agreed with and actually it came as we wanted it to come so I think we are, we are good with it we are happy we are confident. Well, it seems like uh, working in teams really paid off for these guys I'm seeing some amazing plates out there. Yeah, I look forward to tasting. Let's go. Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Koo's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Koo's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description, and hashtag color your plate with Koo in the comments. Enter now. T's and C's apply. Get easy peasy essential nutrients with Koo peas. They're a great source of fiber. Picked and packed at their prime for you, Mzanzi. Color your plate with Koo. Wow. For overall improved well-being, put that special something into any meal with Koo Beetroot. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Koo. What an interesting challenge that was. I mean, you know, to be teamed up with someone that 
you don't really know. You don't know. You don't know. And then you have this challenge as well of celebrating each other's sort of um, heritage. I think I like what the contestants did. I mean, they rose to the challenge and they worked well together. I think we're going to get something really good today, aren't we? Yeah. And I think in that case, we are ready to have the first dish. No, I think Karen, the plate of the judges, it's, I think I can say... No breaking. We're happy. We're hoping that our air fryer comes because definitely the plate, we are more confident about it. Tell us more about what you presented to us today. We kind of took both of our heritage backgrounds and tried to incorporate that in the plate today. We decided to go with uh, the chickpea and salmon and bean salad. And then um, the other side of the dish is also a pepperoni basket. We went with a chakalaka lamb chop as well. And then we've got a spiced peach chutney. At this point, I know we've done our best. I'm a little bit confident, but also nervous at the same time. I'm sure the judges will love it. I'm really impressed with the, the individual flavor of everything. And it just, it's lovely and fresh. I yeah. can see the heritage, I can see color your plates. It makes sense to me. I almost expect a bit more from the chickpeas. Not that it was supposed to be the hero, but I, I think they could have done more with that. They really did themselves proud because you know, all the elements that are here really work well together. Right, so on that note, I think it's time to taste the next dish. Mm. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I mean, it's different not carrying a plate to the judges, but I think we've got this. So what did you ladies make for us? We have made chicken feet with corn bread and bacon and corn sauce and then the chimichurri with butter beans and peas puree. What's going through my mind is that we are going to make it through the end and we are going to win this. The two heritage together, the cornbread, which is like a very farm style, you know, and you have the chicken feet as well, really nicely cooked. I mean, the flavor that it is coming there, I mean, the chimichurri as well on top of those chicken feet just really works. The mealy bread, I feel it was a little bit underdone. I'll agree on the mealy bread. I think it could have been baked a little bit longer, maybe. But yeah, the rest, I, I like the sweet corn sauce. It's quite nice. Let's taste the next one. We looked at our plate and we are happy. We are happy. We tasted everything. Everything, everything is well yeah. together. Ilona, and um, you suffered a personal loss uh, lately. I know this day was sort of like inspired by that. Can you tell us, was that the driving force behind you today? Definitely. We buried my younger sister and before she left um, or passed away, she asked me to see through. Um, it doesn't matter where I finish as long as I see the race through. So tell us about your dish. So we made a South African tali. We made a yogurt curry with yellow rice, a butter bean bhajia, an apple pickle, and then Ilona made a burrovos wrapped bacon with a sweet and sour sauce and a really delicious fresh salad. Because South Africa is such a melting pot, I feel that there's a lot more things that we have in common um, than our differences. There is a lot going on and a lot of different flavor profiles, but I just felt that I just wanted more spiciness. I wanted kind of more depth of flavor and nearly everything that I tasted. I think that would have come maybe if they didn't treat the, this yogurt curry sauce the way they treated it, mm. in terms of serving it. Yeah, I mean, I like that they presented different options to us so that, you know, we can feel, I think that's the whole essence around, you know, entirely where you all just congregating and, and sharing. I mean, this bread was nice. I actually just like how light it was as well, not too heavy. Okay, let's have the next dish. In my mind, I'm obviously not happy because this is not my kind of plating and I've already concluded that it's not going to make it. I'm still enthused about what we put on the plate. I can't wait for the judges to taste it. I made chicken feet, which is Mount Dantwana in Setswana, and I made it with cabbage. And then I made umpagotko tabule, and then I incorporated spinach just to celebrate my heritage. I'm feeling relieved that this challenge is behind me, but also the concern as to how the judges are going to view it. 
Look, I can see, you know, Homo's sort of uneasiness about the plating. Uh, for me, the avocado gets lost a little bit, especially if you're going to cream it. But the tabouleh for me is a revelation. I think uh, just to cook it like that, where it almost resembles uh, couscous. In this instance, it really that lemon zest added a lovely freshness to the plate with all the creaminess that was going on. But overall, this plate of food is something that, you know, I think I'll quite enjoy at any time, especially when you sit for a heritage celebration. Yeah. Mm. Okay, time to make our decision. Mm. Very, very proud. That's the best dish. It is the best dish of the day. The judges will rectify the fact that our plate looks colourful. Colour your plate, it's all there. Today you were thrown together unexpectedly and that's not easy. And I think you all did such a fantastic job and you all deserve a warm round of applause. Hello, my Nilan. The tali. I was quite excited about that. I love the colours on the plate. There was just one thing I wanted more of and it was that yoghurt curry sauce. All the other elements in terms of the freshness, I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Romu and Lesero, there's a saying that teamwork makes the dream work. And unfortunately for you guys, that dream did not show up and it translated onto your plate. However, that putu that you made was an absolute revelation. Well done. Thank you. Tuli and Karen, both of you brought your own heritage to the plate. I felt the mealy bread needed a touch more cooking, but your chicken feet I'm going to be dreaming about for many nights to come. Tabisho, JP, I loved where you were going with your dish. There was a lot of good things about it. The chickpeas didn't make it for me and I really expected a little bit more for your dish. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. We tasted some really good food today, but unfortunately there can only be one winner. Under that cloche is the winning dish. Jackie, will you do the honours, please? Of course. And the winning plate is... Tuli and Karen. I really did not expect that. Our boundaries were pushed today and I expected the worst and it's our dish. It's our dish. We really loved your plate. Our understanding of sort of your heritage and how that came together, amazing plates of food. And as the winners of today's challenge, you each walk away with an instant pot air fryer and you free from next week's elimination round. Well done. <laughs> and to the rest of you, we'll see you in next week's elimination challenge. It's your opportunity to redeem yourself. Congratulations. So we are the next Nzansi cooking star. <laughs> next time on Colour Your Plate with Koo, things get sweet as the bottom six enter their first elimination challenge for the competition. And joining the judging panel is one of Mzanzi's biggest stars, media personality, Pearl Mudiadiye. Just add colour to your plate with Koo's range of fruit and vegetables. Eating better has never been easier. Koo, uzo Another feel-good production.